Well, conditions were so bad earlier that the majority of tri-state schools closed, and this is why. Take a look at how bad some Evansville neighborhoods were actually hit. 44 News reporter Aliyah Malero is live in Evansville where she's been talking with homeowners. Aliyah, what are you seeing? Well, Claire, we've seen significant damage here on that north side of town. As we were even trying to drive, we had to divert to a lot of different routes as so many roads were closed due to trees being down, power lines being down. But thankfully, we were able to make it out here. We're actually here on Oak Hill Road. We're in a neighborhood off Oak Hill Road. And honestly, we've seen a lot of homeowners out here, you know, trying to cut trees, just trying to grab all that debris out of their yards. But we're actually here at a home, at a home that experienced a lot of significant damage here. We're joined with the homeowner Reed Rounder Reed so you know right now this situation honestly is catastrophic you guys had trees that fell down how did it feel you know obviously it was dark outside you didn't really know what what the damage was what the extent of it was how did it feel getting that call from your wife uh, it was pretty rough because you know you just get the phone call you know there's a lot of wind and you know I was just hoping it was a little exaggeration since I wasn't home and then uh, when I pulled in uh, and you see all the damage, it was it was very overwhelming. You know, I was pretty sick to my stomach walking back because I'm, as you, you know, we have the tarps on it now, but, you know, when you can see into the outside of your house from the inside of the house, uh, it's always a little nerve-wracking for sure. Well, and you guys have had a lot of help here. You guys have been here since the early morning hours. Yeah. How, and you said it was within 10 minutes people were out here trying to help you guys. Yeah, so um, I was actually at the gym this morning um, when it all happened. I'm listening with my good buddy, uh, Ed Caswell. So uh, he owns Full Throttle and his whole crew showed up. And then uh, my buddy, uh, Scott Spears from ACM, uh, he showed up and got the tarps on and, uh, you know, was keeping the water out of the house. So we were, we were very lucky where uh, we don't have any more leaking in the house now. And, you know, in these types of situations, it's obviously very scary. And, you know, trying to rebuild is obviously a very hard task to do. But, you know, what is your hope as you guys continue throughout the day? You guys kind of beat out that second round of rain. and you, But you guys were still working through it. You, that didn't stop you guys at all today. Yeah, we were just really hoping to get the tarps on, uh, just keep the water out. So, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, just hopefully at some time in the new future we get some power back and, you know, uh, just kind of really, you know, feeling and praying for the other people out there because, uh, you know, we're, I'm very blessed to have people like that, you know, for my church to show up and help. Uh, and, you know, I know there's a lot of people that, you know, might not have 10-man crews showing up to help. So, you know, uh, hopefully we can just keep the water out. Now I can kind of go out and, you know, help other people, um, you know, moving forward. Well, it definitely seems like it's a community effort. I mean, I, these situations are scary for anyone to have to go through. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Nothing to this magnitude. Um, I definitely wasn't expecting, you know, four trees down and two trees on the house and, you know, one through uh, through the top of the house. So uh, the biggest hole is about five foot wide through the top of the house. So uh, n nothing ever like this. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely scary to think about. Now, as far as everyone inside the home, has everyone is, was everyone safe? Yes, so everybody was down in the basement. Um, so, you know, we're very lucky and blessed there. All the damage was just to the house and, uh, you know, everybody's safe. Well, thank you so much, Reed. Guys, you know, as we continue going throughout this, you know, the crews are still working to restore those power lines. A lot of these homes still do not have power, but they've been out here since those early morning hours. Crews are still directing traffic to as those traffic lights are down. But you want to stay with us at 44 News S4 as we keep talking to homeowners in this area and keep assessing that damage that these storms created. Live in Evansville, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.